Hey guys, DanTheMan308 here, and today I'm going to be starting a tutorial series on how to make a bucket plugin. So, today we're just going to start off with the basics, what software you need, and that's basically what we're going to do for today. So, what you want to do is open up Google, and the first thing you need is the Java JDK. So, you want to go on Google and search for Java JDK, Java Development Kit. And you want to scroll down, it'll be JDK 8 you want, so you just click JDK 8 is here, just click download, I accept, and then depending on what version you'll have, you'll need different things. I'm using Windows 64 bit, so I'll need this one here. If you were running um, 32 bit, you'll need this one. So I'm going to download that. And then the next thing, well, that downloads, you're going to need is Eclipse. So you go to eclipse.org. You're going to click downloads at the top. And I'm going to get Eclipse standard. Again, 32 bit if you've got 32, 64 if you've got 64. And you just click this here. And the downloads are happening. So, Java JDK has finished downloading. So I'm going to start off by installing this. So you want to run it. It'll ask you for administrator permission. And you just click yes. And then you run through the wizard. The installer wizard. Right. Let's close. The next thing you need to do. Where you put the contents of Eclipse is going to depend on how you organize files in your computer. But what you want to do is put this folder somewhere, wherever you like. I'm just going to put it on my desktop, because I'm not neat. So that's just going to copy over. Eighty-two percent 95 percent Done. Now we have Eclipse here. Next, you want to just open that up, create a shortcut. Shove that on the desktop. So I'll go over there. Alright, and there is Eclipse. So, what you'll need to do is run your Eclipse, and it'll generate a workspace which you have to put somewhere. Um, it can go desktop in the Java folder and so okay it's in Java and this is going to be called tutorial that'll do and I'll load the workbench and set up the workspace for you so you can get on with whatever it is that you're doing right now this is open up opened up, close that, right, the layout of this is basically this bar on the right hand, on the left hand side, sorry, is where all of the packages will be, all of the files within the thing you're making, this will be, this bar at the bottom is where problems will be and errors, I usually minimise that, this is an outline of stuff, I don't usually have that open either, and then what we want to do is, up here, click new, Java project. Let's name the project Tutorial Plugin. Alright, now what we need to do is set this up for Bucket. So we need to search for the Bucket API. I missed the space. You'll have to find that. It should be here. Downloads Bucket API. You can either get the recommended build or you can get the development build. That's 1.7.8, that's for 1.6.4. We're just going to use the 1.6.4 one for now. So you want to right click on the project you made, go to Properties, Java Build Path, Libraries, Add External Jars, and the fun jar that you just got. Select it, hit OK, and boom, it's done. 
Next, all you need to do is right click on source, new class. You'll want to name this. I'm not sure what you'll want to name it's up to you. I'll just call it tutorial. And the other thing you'll want immediately is a new file in the source folder called plugin plugin.yml and that is how you set it up so thank you for watching everybody and we will go in depth next time and how and I'll show you how to start making the plugin thank you for watching everybody goodbye